In this video, we'll be discussing about the toll-like receptors. These are the protein molecules that act as receptors. If we see these receptors recognize ligand molecules that are shared by pathogens. So that way these toll-like receptors TLR play a crucial role in innate immune system. Before getting to its structure and its types, these TLR proteins drive two different signaling pathways. We see first pathway of TLR signaling is the MYD88 dependent pathway, MYD88 dependent pathway. This MYD88 is downstream adapter molecule in signaling. And second one is the trip dependent pathway that's TRIF dependent pathway is mediated by the trip adapter protein. Both of these pathways will be discussed in separate videos. Now let's get to the structure of TLR. First of all, we have two important extracellular structures. One is the leucine which repeats as beta strand as shown in the diagram and other one is the leucine which repeats as alpha helix. And both of these structures are connected by a looper linker segment, which is also a leucine rich repeat. Then we have some intracellular structures. Here in the cytoplasm, we have the TIR domain, that is the tall interleukin receptor domain, which is homologous to that of interleukin IL1 receptor. And we also have transmembrane domain as shown in the diagram. So basically, TLR molecules are type 1 transmembrane proteins with an extracellular leucine rich repeat LRR domain and a cytoplasmic domain referred to as tall interleukin 1 receptor that's TIR domain. Then moving further this TIR domain is divided into three conserved boxes as 1, 2, 3 that vary in size and are critical signaling portions of the molecule. Their side chains are used for interaction with downstream signal adapter molecules. Now we have TLR types, but in order to understand the types of TLR, first let's see how TLR signaling is initiated. We see it's initiated by the TLR dimerization upon ligand binding from pathogen. And this dimerization has two different phases. One is homodimerization, like uh, TLR3 monomer binds with another TLR3 monomer. And we get homodimerization of TLR3 molecules, as shown in the animation. And then we have heterodimerization where two different monomers dimerizes to form dimer. Like we have TLR1, TLR2 dimer or TLR2, TLR6 dimer as shown in the animation. Now let's get to the types of TLR on the basis of localization of TLR molecules. We have cell surface TLR molecules and we also have endosome membrane TLR molecules. In cell surface TLR molecules or proteins, we have TLR1, TLR2, TLR4, TLR5, TLR6 and TLR10. Remember, this TLR10 molecule or protein is functional in humans only, whereas it's non-functional in mouse. Moving further, we also have TLR12 and TLR13, both are present in mouse only. On the other hand, we have endosome TLR molecules like TLR3, TLR7, TLR8, TLR9, TLR11. And this TLR11 is only present in mouse. Now let's jump towards the TLR dimers and their ligands from pathogen. On the left side, we'll be having TLR dimers. On the right, we'll be having ligands from pathogen that recognize these TLR dimers. First, we have the TLR1, TLR2 heterodimer. It binds ligand in the form of bacterial triacyl lipopeptides. Second is the TLR2, TLR2 homodimer. It binds ligands in the form of bacterial peptidoglycans and fungal phospholipomenin. Third one is the TLR2 TLR6 heterodimer. It binds ligands in the form of bacterial diacyl lipopeptides, lipotechoic acid, fungal zymosin, and GPI anchor from Trypanosoma cruzi. Then we have TLR2 TLR10 heterodimer, which recognizes the ligand from Listeria monocytogenes. Moving further, we have another homodimer in the form of TLR3, TLR3 dimer. It recognizes viral dsRNA. Then we have homodimer in the form of TLR4, TLR4 protein. It recognizes bacterial liposaccharide and fungal menin. Then we have TLR5, TLR5 homodimer. It recognizes bacterial flagellin. Moving further, we also have TLR7, TLR7 homodimer. It recognizes viral single-stranded RNA. 
we also have same homodimer in the form of TLR8, TLR8 homodimer. It also recognizes the same viral SSRNA. And then we have TLR9, TLR9 homodimer. It recognizes bacterial CPG DNA, viral CPG DNA, and hemozyne that's from Plasmodium falciparum. Then we have homodimer in the form of TLR11. It's still unknown what ligand binds to it. Then moving further in the list, we have TLR12 homodimer that recognizes profilin molecule. That's from Toxoplasma gondii. And finally, we have last homodimer in the form of TLR13. It recognizes bacterial 23S RNA. And one important thing to be noted here is that these last three TLR molecules are present in mouse only. That's 11, 12, 13. And the TLR10 protein is functional only in humans. So this is what TLR molecule or protein is, the structure and its types. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up to support my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.